So you're given this three variable kmap problem and you're asked to plot the following functions on the kmap. And you're given the function in the form of min terms. Well, we're not only going to do that, but we're also going to find the minimum expression, the minim minimum Boolean expression possible. So where would you even start? So the first thing you're going to need to do is label your entire kmap, starting with the variables. So you might remember that on the long side, in the case of a three variable kmap, on the long side you'll have uh, you'll have two variables, the a and the b, and then on the short side it's going to be just the c. Now as far as the binary goes, on the top you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. And on the side, 0, 1. The corresponding numbers for each tile, 0, 1, 2, 3, and you always have to remember that the 4 goes over here, 5, 6, and 7. So plotting the function, we have a 1, so you might have guessed that a 1 goes in the 1 spot. It's not a very good 1. A 1 goes in the 2 spot. We've got a 3, so a 1 goes there. 4 and 6. Now the blank spots are just zeros. Alright, so the next step here, we group the ones together. Now the rules for this, if you don't remember, they have to be by themselves in a group of two next to each other, in a group of four next to each other, or in a group of eight. There are other exceptions where you can take variables like this. It, say there was a one and a one here, you could do that. Or a one and a one here. So the maximum number I can see taken together would be two. And it's like, you just pretty much start wherever you want. Just try to stay organized or, or use color coding. So let's start here. I know we can take those two together. The way that you translate this into variable format, we have the one on the left here, which represents the A, and that doesn't change, it stays the same. So we're going to have an A. Now the 1 and the 0 at the end there represent the B. That's changing, so the B disappears. Now for the C, you can see that both of these are in the C not row. This is C not. I get a different color here. This is C naught, and this is C, where this is A naught, B naught, A naught, B, A, B, and A, B naught. Pretty easy, right? So since this is all in the C naught row, we're just going to have C naught. And our answer is going to be in the sum of products form. So the second group we have here, we can overlap. We can take these two together. Now you can see here, 0 and 1, that's changing. So A is going to be excluded. And the B is the same. So we're going to write B. Again, these are both in the C0 row. So we're going to have a C0. We can take either this group or this group here. So let's take this one first. For this one here, you're going to notice that it overlaps C0 and C. So C is actually going to be excluded from this one. And we're just going to have A0 B. So A0 B. With me so far. 
last group. And that takes care of all the ones. So again, looking up here, we have A naught and A naught. Those don't change, so we have A naught, B naught and B. The B changes, so that's not going to be here. As far as the C goes, it's in the C row, so we're going to have C. And this here, no matter how hard you try, you cannot simplify the Boolean expression more than that. That is going to be your final answer, and you just can't go beyond that according to the rules of KMAPS and any other simplification rule, Boolean algebra or whatever else there is. Um, Quinn McCluskey method won't even give you a, a simpler uh, answer than that.